Oh, cosmic cat. <laughs> you dare, <have>, right? <laughs> and no, we just or just go, just go with the rise of the loom guy. Yeah. But... Just mention something about that in the car in the in the description. Yes, will do. And we're recording right now, by the way. <laughs> Okay, we've so, been talking about Sky Vaginas for five minutes. Well, for, uh, yeah, I only just started 30 seconds ago, but Sky Vagina definitely got in there. <laughs> oh dear lord. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Okay, I'm just. Uh, I was just wait. I was seeing if you were gonna start, or should I? <clears throat> yes. Can you can you remove this the text history from my face, please? <laughs> well, I just put that up right now because remember I accidentally skipped one bit of text. I don't think it was fundamental. Let me see. Okay, I returned the books he had stolen while I'm at it to Yuko's delight. I don't tell her where I got them though. Is that uh, good for you? Or do you think we just skip it and just overview it? Really oh, oh, well, whatever, just do whatever. Now, it's not like this is going to uh, in any way end up in the actual finished product. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's something above it. Having exhausted the books Kenji lent me in just a few nights, I go back to the library, deeming it safe for alternative for getting my reading fix. Okay, so it's that. All right. Welcome back to Katawa Shoujo, the game in which uh, we read a lot of text. Yes, and we make fun of it while we're at it, if we can. Uh, we al we almost certainly fail every time, but, you know. Also, for no particular reason, I break up in song. <laughs> and for no particular reason, I accidentally skipped a bit of text, which wasn't important. It just says, we just got to the library to give mm -hmm. back books. <laughs> From anyway. Kenji, who stole yes, them. Yes, th that's all important plot point. Anyway, I returned the books... He had stolen while I'm at, while I'm at it. To Yuko's delight, I don't tell her where I got them though. Wow, you sure read a lot, do you? Don't you? <laughs> yes, all in two nights. Yeah, I guess I do. I mean, I do. Uh, even if I think it's weird, I think it. I might have a reading problem. Maybe I'm a junkie. A reading, <laughs> a reading junkie. Okay. No, no, I didn't mean it that way. It is not weird at all. And being addicted to uh to reading is a lot better than being addicted to uh to uh to songs by the Daft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she has a techno voice. Get it? Yes. That's the, that's the joke. Uh, to something else. Yeah, I know. It was a joke. I smile. A joke? Oh, joke? Oh no, I don't know how to deal with jokes. Panic! Chaos! <laughs> His saw is taking our job! <laughs> uh, I smile at her reassuring. Did, some, did, did someone say joke? Hi, I'm Russell, the man with the with the, uh, the feast of cosmic power. No, I said job. Did someone say job? No, I said job! <gasps> did, someone, did someone say... Did someone say... Uh, foot job? No, job! <laughs> J O B job. Okay. Go back to your own wherever you came from. I'm an old man. <laughs> anyway, I smile at her reassuringly and drop the books on the counter so Yuko can check them out. I feel tired, so I sit down in the vacant chair in front of the desk. Her desk. While Yuko goes through the modest pile of reading material I found, I let my gaze wander around the library. With this precise mug, I, I look around the library. At the table, as the tables, a pair of girls is chattering in hushed tones rather than working on their homework. The short-haired one notices me, looking in their direction, and waves at me. When I raise my hand back, they glance at each other and giggle in unison. Well, don't wait, don't, don't wait, Sal. You won't be dealing with those ones. <laughs> Okay, so apparently uh, Isao's uh, aloof 
aloof demeanor in and the lack of smiling has been interpreted by a few gir girls around in his class as uh, as something really cool that cool guys do. Because <laughs> yes, he clearly Sal has graduated from the school of swag from Jay's school of swag and coolery. Yes, the, <laughs> all the suaveness is just coming off his how. Remember, life is whatever. Okay, I am not sure how I should feel about that, so I decide it's a good thing. The one who waited me has a horrible case of epilepsy. Oh. Well, that's not a nice thing to have. No, it's definitely not. So... Not hog, no, don't, I, don't do that. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. That's Epilepsy is not a fun thing. No, it's definitely not. Good lord, man. It, 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 it was... Uh, 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 the speech impediments, on the other hand, are hilarious. <laughs> I, mm. I, 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 y y I, w I wish I could take away friendship points from you right now, but I know you don't mean it that way. No, uh, of course I don't. And besides, you're laughing too, internally, but I know you are. Well, that's because I let out a laugh a little. I admit it. It was one of the most disturbing and scary things I've ever seen in, I've seen in a very long time. Oh yes, I definitely seen someone have an epilepsy attack as well, so I concur with that feeling. Okay, this is suddenly okay. Uh, this scene has suddenly become very dark and not all that and all all that lighthearted as I thought it would, it would yeah. be. Yeah. So yeah. Yet there she is, happily ch happily chirping away about whatever, as if she doesn't have a k a care in the world. I command, you know, I I applaud this girl for. Like for learning to live with her condition. That's really inspiring. Yes. Uh, I wish I could actually see her face, of, <laughs> you know, really reading about her. But yes, I know. You, you I think it's amazing it. what people can live with. Like one person who has no legs climbed a mountain. You told me that already. Really? Did I yes. tell you? Well, well, I've told the audience just in case I haven't told anyone else. Oh, uh, I told you told in this very serious about really? it. Really? It was a yes. It was a fantastic epic story of bravery and courage. I have I forgot, poor memory and all. You know this school is really something else. Yuko raises her eyes from the books she was she was going through, slightly startled. Startled. She adjusts her glasses and puts on a uh, nervous, confused smile. And everything is right with the world. What do you mean? I don't really know how to explain it. It's just that everyone's so active, or how should I put it? It's not just the festival thing, I think. Even though I haven't been here that long, but it's everything. People talk more, work harder, and just are more than any other school I've seen before. It's almost as if they have something to prove against life itself. Hmm. That's it's a little it is a little thought I'm going to leave floating around here for a while. I am struggling for words. Are you angry for worms? <laughs> but it feels like I, I never did understand that joke, but it feels like I'm uh, speaking honestly. Um, that's good for you, Isao. The school feels so alive. So, what do we decide? It's either refreshing, or it makes me feel like I'm stuck. Hmm... Does this have any bearing, though, on anything? I... I don't think so. Hmm... Let's see... I guess I, I guess I think it's refreshing anyway, but I'm not sure... I think he's sour would think if he's stuck. Hmm... Hmm... You know what, let's be positive here. Sure, there are some people like this in my old school, but too, but not as many, and it feels more intense somehow. I think if I had to pin it down to one thing, the students really appreciate going to school. I don't think that's a bad thing. Thank you for your insightful input, Yuko. Yeah, me neither. Suddenly I... Oh wait, that's you. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Suddenly I realize that I've just been bubbling my thoughts to Yuko. Out of the blue, she is a bit of a jumpy person, so a I bit? 
yes, a bit. We're going to be euphemistical about it for the sake of our collective sanity. <laughs> so I fear I might have made a bad impression. Uh, good thing she's not actually included in the... You know, she's not actually a choice in this game. Oh god, imagine how she'd be dealing with it. She'd be rushing to the... You know, to go to the bunkers or something. <laughs> She's looking at me with what I hope is curiosity rather than horror. So I figure she's all right. I yeah, she's, she's all right. I think she's having a psychotic episode. Oh, I hope I hope it's nothing like those uh, those those Twilight Sparkles episodes. You know, like <laughs> in like in Lesson Zero. Uh, I'm going tardy. Or or maybe she, or maybe <laughs> you can imagine Yuko uh, maybe appearing out of nowhere in in the middle of a group of a uh, group of of. Nine-year-olds, girls playing ball, and she's all like, "Hi, girls!" <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> yes, with a human of all people. Sorry for, anyway, sorry for suddenly talking about weird stuff like this. I didn't mean to trouble you. Oh no, it's not troubling. I'm happy to listen if you feel like talking. Please don't. As long as you don't ask me questions, it makes me feel a little re relatable. Reliable. Re reliable, too. Uh, you I, oh, oh, you Yuko smiles sweetly and a little bit ironically at that. I respond with a thankful smile of my own. Ding! Yeah. Yes, and uh, in the corner of the library is one cool guy with sunglasses who just raises his mug at her. <laughs> she pushes the neat stuck of book, books across the counter. I stand up and gather them in my arms. You know, I come to think of it, at some point we will have to tell Kanji that his books have returned to, the, to their original place of oppression. <laughs> yes, to the cesspool that he calls... The library? The public school library? Here you are. Thank you. I guess we'll be meeting each other again. Please, come here anytime. Yuko's... Oh, wait. Sorry, again, I'm still used to me doing narration. Yuko's kindness is heartwarming, Eve. You can count on it. See you later. Alligator. And, and the day's day, over! And the day's gone by. Wow, days are sure flying by at this rate. Yeah, uh, I guess that means it's the end of the episode. <laughs> now, that is, <laughs> now that's what I call refreshing. People! People! Hi there. Oh, hi. hi. I, I am, am so I cool. am a robot. Dance I'm with a robot. Robot dance, dancing bracket. I came dancing, from, robot, robot, from the future robot dance, dancing, to warn robot, you against a, a nuclear apocalypse that will happen at this very school caused by Kenji. I don't know. Okay, so I, from what I gather from these last uh, exchanges, there is a robot from the future that comes to kill us all. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I, I said it was. I said it was a new. A, a new yeah, someone from the future came to warn about a nuclear apocalypse caused by Kenji. And Kenji is actually a dancing robot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think Madhog's dying. I must have swallowed something. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, aside from me dying, which was funny in its own right, the morning of the track meet. The morning of the track meet greets me with a brilliant sunshine from a crystal blue sky. Blue sky? No! I, they bet their 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 next adaptation of the peanuts better be good. You know, blue sky studios. Yeah, as I know. That's, uh, Oh, well, it, the trailer most certainly looked good. I hope they don't screw this up like everything else they ever done in their entire existence. Or include any fart jokes. <sighs> anyway. While I leisurely stroll towards the track, I decide that, it's a, that this is a good sign. Of what? I am not sure. I am not entirely sure. This event isn't as exciting for me as it seems to be for a large portion of the student body. I'm even less 
interested in watching sports than I am in participating. But cheering for Emmy is a good cause. Oh, so we have to meet. Yes, she, Emmy told us about previously. <laughs> I'm not expecting this to be any sort of amazing and spectacular experience, but it can, but it can't hurt. Well, unless Emmy runs through you once again, you know, maybe she derails from a track so spectacularly she flies right into the audience <laughs> and right f and and pierces it through your through your heart, in like a like a freight train or something, and, and from she, from the future. And she finishes it off with with her covered in blood, going, "Oops, silly me!" and lightly taps her head. And that's our Emmy. <laughs> 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 Okay, that was a bit morbid. Well, what isn't morbid with us at this point in time? I'd probably be uh, spending the time reading, reading while cooped up in my room. Otherwise, because reading is bad. Rain. Ah, rain. Our only ray of sunshine. This dark and twisted world, made of, uh, made of dust. People, apparently, judging from the. I just thought they were called scrap paper people. <laughs> scrap paper. They look, they look like they are uh, balls of dust made into uh, human silhouettes, actually, from <laughs> my end. That's, yes. Anyway. When I approach the bleachers, I spot Rin emerging from the crowd right before she spots me. You came. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna say anything. Of course, I said I would, wouldn't you know? That doesn't necessarily imply that you had to follow through. Uh, okay. Lots of people say things and don't mean them. Well, I don't. Rin shrugs, seemingly bored with our conversation. She turns on her... On her Heel. Heel and heads back towards the stands. Apparently everyone is walking on the stands. So, uh, are you uh, excited uh, about this? Well. The dawn and the you come. Everybody walk this, the dinosaur stand. So, are you excited about this? Oh, yes, I'm ecstatic. Can you tell from my face? As am I. I really like sports. Oh, uh, yeah, sports are cool and whatever. That would be very awkward if, if, uh, if all the stands were filled by rins and jays of every kind. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, the race is like very intense, but they all like yay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Not really. Me neither. Then His... what? What? Okay, what are we doing here? Let's go see the paint dry or something more exciting than this. <laughs> they probably would find that more exciting at this rate. Then why did you? Then why did you come? Because a friend asked me. Why did you? She doesn't reply at all. So I decide not to either. Oh. And that, and that is yet another riveting conversation brought to you by Katawa Shujo, the game of brilliant conversations. We enter the bleachers, and Rin nods upwards. Up there, in the sky. Look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Oh no, it's a bleachers coming down on top of us! Rain leads the way, and soon we settle down on an almost empty bench. Oh! Every... Oh uh, uh, my gosh, it's a new character! Who is this? I don't know. Can I? Can I? Can I choose her? Can I? Can I go for her? Yeah. Can, 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 can I? Can I? Can you stop? Can you stop picking her nose with the mouse? No, no. I was. I was pointing at her beauty mark right here. Anyway, there is an older woman sitting next to Rin, someone's mother, I assume. Oh Jesus, sir! What makes you think she's a mother? Is it because she looks like a typical mom from anime? No, because it's the it's the hippie outfit, isn't it? <laughs> She's got a rather long hair done, done up in a bra uh, bride. Braid. Braid. Yeah, braid. Am, I, am, I, am I reading it right? Okay. Yes, it's braid. Braid. On, on seeing Rin, she, uh, she's... Yes, she, on seeing Rin, she gives her an oddly familiar seeming grin. Oh, I know who this woman is. Well, this is surprising. <laughs> 
Woman with braid. Seriously, Sal? That's <laughs> going to be your name for her? I thought you went to get a snack. Not a boy. Oh, sassy mammy, sassy. Huh? This is no good. Rin, why are you asking this? The woman laughs at Rin and shakes her head. Spon uh, sporin the Apparently. Yes, the... The, the A seems like an S and all that. Apparently unable to find a comeback for that. I know the feeling. Well, I suppose you've always been one to go out for one thing and bring back another. Yes, like the time you like the time you went out to to buy a dog and then you return with uh, an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being rude. I haven't introduced myself. Oh yes, please introduce yourself. I'm Mako. I'm... Yes, go I'm, on. I'm Mako Ibarazaki. I'm sure that if you know the skill, you've at least met my daughter too. Wait, so you're Emmy's mother? Yep. Can I choose you instead of Emmy? <laughs> well, no. <that laughs> well, a she's married with the most with the most badass samurai dead you'll ever see, so it wouldn't be wise to beat up her. <laughs> Secondly, that would be just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I said the joke. <laughs> yes, and that's why I ruined it, because I am the only one who should survive the things. Alright, pleased to meet you. Well, that, uh, that, uh, something about it. Something explains about it. That explains it. She is like a taller, older, more motherly Emmy. And she sounds exactly like her. Damn it, Emmy, run faster! Damn it, Bob, I'm running faster as I can! Damn it, Emmy, <laughs> don't talk back to your mother! Damn it, Austin, this is all your fault, I know that! <laughs> Imagine that. Damn it, Emmy, you're, you're grounded! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bob, this is not over! <laughs> oh. What the okay. hell is wrong with us? <laughs> you may, I don't know. Do we, we, we watched maybe we watched too many wrestling at some point in our lives. I know I watched too much of it when I was in my teenage years. I know that I'm still watching it right now against my better judgment. And I know I'm feeling very sorry for you and, and send you a fruit basket now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that anime. <laughs> oh, oh, we watched too many things. <laughs> anyway, apart from her hair being somewhat darker than our daughters. There's a really no, there's really no mistaking the resemblance. Really, because I don't know, she looks like she, she looks like she could be anyone's mother in this campus. Really, because they, because anime characters, am I right? They all look the same. <laughs> oh jeez. Sorry, I'm Hisao. Hisao Nakai. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Rin Tezuka. I think she knows you already. <laughs> Miss, Ibar Miss Ibarazaki loves again. She really does resemble her offspring, and then leans back a little on her seat and raised an eyebrow. Please don't say anything inappropriate, that would be really weird. So, why, it's, why, it's just an eyebrow. So, so, now that we know all know each other, how long have you been dating? <laughs> She's an anime mom. <laughs> uh, my response consists of silence as my brain suddenly lur lunch lurches into gear. But, but just before I can begin to utter a hastily bottled explanation, Hemi's mother burst into laughter again. Oh, she's just teasing you because teasing mom is teasing. <laughs> You're a blusher, aren't you? I like, I like blushers. Yes, I like the okay, boys why, blush. Why, okay, why does it seem that every time an anime mom is on is on screen, she's she it looks like she's trying to hit on the younger boy. Just and, uh, every time, I swear. Just it's like, well, I'm honestly, I it's like fifty fifty when I watch anime and there's uh, moms, but still, you're right there. I don't know if there's any way to keep my dignity in this situation, so I settle for a uh, martial mumbled response. Ah, so blah, 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 I see. Blah. So Mako goes to the Bayonetta school of sexualization, humiliates people. 
Nice. We're not. I know, but it's funny to watch you squirm. Oh, she's okay. Okay, if you change the tone of this uh, of this sentence and you add creepy, unsettling music, this could easily assume a completely different meaning. Yes, like she's like, a bit of a sadist. I could be. I know, but it's funny to watch you squirm, squirm like the worm you are. <laughs> Or yes. she could be like Ivy from Soul Calibur. Squirm. I think she. I think she's a bit more dignified than that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive an old woman her amusements. Okay, is she? If she counts as an old woman in Japan, apparently, apparently, a young, young, a young woman has to be nine or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Do we really want to bring up that can of worms with Gurren Lagann's interpretation of a 14-year-old? I think it was 14 uh, that woman was. No, 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 no. What was she? She was at least 16. I'm trying to remember because I remember one anime depicted as a 14-year-old looking like a 20-year-old or something. I keep forgetting. Oh, 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 an entire anime that looked like a like a 12-year-old. That's quite an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even do that? <laughs> she chuckles again to herself. Okay, you want to overtake reading again? Old woman? Sorry. No, 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 please. By all means, do go on. <laughs> Sorry. Again. Ugh. She sure doesn't look that old to me. Thank you. Also, I... also, Rain is, is doing again the things that she does with her eyes, looking back and forth between us and the sec and the second interlocutor. I get the strange feeling that everyone does it, but we just haven't noticed. We've only noticed with Rin so far. But actually, the... actually, you know, when Amy, you know, because I noticed that the, I think she might be the only one who does that because, uh, well, when Amy is on uh, Amy. Yeah, Emmy is, is on the screen with with Rin. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't do that. Okay. I mean, she, just, she just looks at you straight at you and no one else's. So. Okay. Well, I'll I'll keep that in mind and keep an eye on her eyeballs. I'll well, keep an not... eye on that. <laughs> so you keep an eye on her eyeballs. That's <laughs> what a, that's a weird. That sounded wrong for some reason, but okay. I suppose I can let it go. I mean, sure, I get hit on by everyone's mom all the time. <laughs> How kind of you. It's starting. What's starting? <laughs> at the end of days, can't you tell by how frightened I sound? Ooh, look at all these other girls with interesting designs. Yes, I, I, really, I, I really would have loved to get to know the girl with one with one hand. That's Right there, you know, right Yes. Be right behind Emmy. Yeah, I would as well. I direct my attention to the track where they're preparing for the first sprint. Oh sure, oh sure. Give the give the fastest girl on the tr on the school an unfair advantage. It looks like the four hundred meter dash. My eyes scan the runners before finding Emmy. I think she's not all that difficult to find for a variety of reasons. Also, I think uh Hisao borrowed uh, Vice's uh, monocle from Skies of Arcadia because, you know, he had a, he, he's now gone closer to her. She's smiling with an almost cocky look on her face. Oh, no, somebody's, ab somebody's about to kill the president. <laughs> the star raises his pistol. And they're off. Right, Emmy's on, Emmy's on the front. The, one of the girl is on the right. Oh, okay. but... All uh, right, uh, always comes second. He's, uh, he's in the second position. Now they're they're approaching the second round, and the rabbit is still cut. Is, is nobody is still cut cut the rabbit? <laughs> Emmy explodes and, off the block, disappearing from the starting line in a blur. It's amazing. Even as the other sprinters converge on the lanes closest to the inside line, Emmy surges to the front of the pack. By the time yes, you're, you're better at this than me. <laughs> by the time by the time she rounds the final turn, a few of the other runners have caught up with her. But we. But she puts on a final burst of speed that leaves them at least half a second behind. Half a second behind, folks! Mrs. Ibrazaki whoops and shouts, applauding wildly and generally looking like any other parent cheering on their child. Why am I commenting on why am I commenting on a member of on a member of the audience when I should be <laughs> commenting on the race? <laughs> Damn it, Emmy, you better win this race or else. 
No sausages! No sausages! Damn it, Mom! I damn it, Mom! You you will never get away with me not getting sausages. I always get what I want when I want it. Emmy Emmy bounds off the track and looking pleased with herself. I cheer right along with the rest of them. And Rin's smiling there. Isn't that nice? I guess it is. The announcer, sounding suspiciously like I, Misha. I, you mean to tell me they really have an announcer and it's human Pinkie Pie? How appropriate. Gleefully gives the results. <laughs> I think she's gotten faster since the last time. It's it's all thanks to the steroids. <laughs> From the, fu the future steroids. That was incredible. Mrs. Ibarazaki grins proudly. Emmy's a yes. heck... Yes, Austin! Yes! Yes, Austin! We all... We all, we all is treat our athletes with the utmost respect and give them drugs to impl- to, Oh, that's- that's- that was an, in a, in a, in a very inappropriate thing to say, actually. Emmy's <laughs> a heck of a runner. We fall silent as the next event prepares to start. I'm surprised to see Emmy striding out onto the track again. She's got a lot of energy, that girl. She has enough energy to reenact the entire Montreal screw job, damn it! <laughs> Wait, didn't she just run? Emmy's mother's nods. Yes, but she runs multiple events for the team, especially the sprints. The sprints? It's a lot of running, but Emmy can handle it. <laughs> because I feel. Because if she can't, I'll fire her from the di from the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> from the looks of things, she's right. Emmy doesn't appear to be tired, as if she hasn't hadn't run the previous event at all. It's not for the sweat. If not for the sweat visible on her t on her shirt, you'd never know. <sighs> which, which event is this? It's the. It's the Royal Rumble! <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> It'd be, it would remind me of that one guy who came into wrestling in the W who I thought was cool, that one-legged wrestler. I forgot his name, though. Ugh. I remember a one-legged wrestler debut, uh, having a brief moment in the spotlight in TNA. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty cool in the WWE, but sadly it didn't last long. Uh, no, no surprise there, I mm. mean... Okay, it's a I mean, uh, not not to be cynical or anything, but uh, it's it's obvious obviously they were they were going to they were going to have him running around for a while to for, for having for give in order to give them a good image, and then they were going to discard him because it's not a two-legged athlete. Uh. That's and, and it's cynical, but that's how it works. It's the two hundred meter dash. She'll do this one, the 100 meter, and the relay. And then she'll go to WrestleMania to defeat Bret Hart or something. I see. Okay, totally understood. Once again, the, pen the pistol sounds, and once again, Emmy flies off the block. A thumping sound draws my attention away from the race. It's Rin's foot. Rin's foot is more interesting than the race. Yes. Uh, Rin is basically trying to tell you not to perv over Emmy's mom. She seems c completely absorbed in the race. Emmy, Emmy's mother cheers again, and I assume that the race is over. Sprints don't seem to me like they take very long to complete. They are called sprints for a reason. Yes, very good reason. Your foot. Can you, can I have it? <laughs> For my collection. Mm hmm? Your foot was bouncing on the bleachers. Oh. Oh, oh sorry about that. I showed a bit too much emotion there. Sorry about that. That must be very embarrassing for you. You seem pretty into this stuff. I'm surprised. I thought you said this wouldn't be exciting. Hmm. I suppose you're right. It's not that it, it's not that interesting. But I'm watching Emmy, not the sport. I don't follow. It's a lesson in friendship. <laughs> Emmy is the most Emmy when she runs. That's a nice way of putting it. 
you don't get to see Emmy at the other Emmyest ever very often. <laughs> you know, just like Rin is at the Rin Rin nest when she paints. That's uh, a that's a that's a nice little parallel here. And the uh, and the Emmyest award goes to Emmy. <laughs> But here, you can. See? She directs my attention towards the track again, where the 100 meter dash is about to start. I watch Emmy closely, in the same position! And no s- and, and look! She didn't break a sweat. Hmm. And uh, I call foul! Her t-shirt should be soaked wet! No R. I'm kidding. She's a nice cool student. <laughs> As she gets onto the starter blocks, her whole body seems to relax, but it's a false relaxation. Although technically she's 19. I can see that she's actually like a coiled spring. Oh, smirk of confidence! She's she's officially entered Rainbow Dash mode. Mm. As the starter tells everyone to get set, her head snaps up and her eyes narrow slightly. Which they don't here. Her mouth curls upward in what could be a grin. And could be a growl. She's I damn it, damn it, damn it, Austin! I'm going to literally eat you alive. <laughs> when, <coughs> when the pistol goes off, it's as if she's been unleashed from a cage, like she was always moving at this blinding speed. But we couldn't see it happening until the starter's pistol dispelled the illusion of motionlessness. Okay, uh, are you describing her running, or are you describing a futuristic painting? Or are you describing the ability from Bleach where people just kind of just phew. I forgot what the name of the move is, but I can't, don't care right now. Yeah, it's, it's called Cinematic Lines of Motion. As soon as she's crossed the finish line, the fierce look was replaced by her normal grin. The conquering general returning to his farm. <laughs> That's a very unusual way to put it. Are you basically saying she's like, a, you know, like, uh... Sao Sao when he invades a province in Japan? I mean, in China? No, I think she has the... the, the I think she's more like uh, Oda Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda. Yeah, that's be more better for mythological sake. Mostly because it's... Mostly it, because it's more known. No, no, mostly because of the Shogun Total War. <laughs> <laughs> more than anything, you know, in the Western world. Amazing! She's really amazing. I've never seen someone move that fast. She is the f she Emmy. She's the fastest thing alive. And Emmy just suddenly says, "You're too slow." <laughs> well, don't look at me. I'm far too relaxed to run that fast. Really? No. Uh, uh no, I think Emmy's. Pr Prowess all came from her father's side. You mean the hot-blooded samurai guy with the crazy haircut that would would that would probably be we probably feel more at home in a episode of Bleach. At the <laughs> mention of Emmy's father, Mrs. Ibarazaki looks wistful, like almost sad. Oh. He got into a running, you know. He got her into running. Ah, oh, really? I didn't know that. I leave it at that and don't say anything for a little while. I get the feeling this is something personal I shouldn't ask about. Oh, don't tell me okay, so is concerned. Okay, so you get some glimpse of what to expect if you act to choose the Emmy's route. A beeping noise suddenly emanates from Mrs. Ibarazaki's pocket. Reaching into it, she pulls out a cell phone and looks at it. Honestly, text messages? Oh, they are, they are so 2005. What is he, 16? Sweet sixteen. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh nothing. I got to go meet it with a friend of mine. Okay. Will you tell Emmy I'm very proud of her and that I'll call her later tonight? And fire her <laughs> if she Or either that or ground her or remove her desert privileges. <laughs> I'll fire her. Uh, no, I can't really think of anything. I was trying to. Th or maybe, or maybe she's going to give her a, ti a title match for the, a title match for the WWE Championship. Of course. And the curtains agrees with me. 
While waiting for the relay to start, I peer at Rin. She seems uninterested in her surroundings. Okay, what was the point of the curtains of death if we're, if, if we're still in the exact identical scene and position? Um, they had to take Emmy's mom away. <laughs> she already got away. She already disappeared into thin air. <laughs> well, yeah, true. She seems well. uninterested in her surroundings, myself included. That remark she made before is still stuck in my head. Emmy is the most Emmy when she runs. It does make sense now that I think about it. After seeing and run now, I can believe that Emmy gives her all on the track. I am Shotner. Sports are more than a hobby or even a, co uh, a competition to her. They are defining. They are a defining aspect of her life. What about Rin then? Does she feel the same way about art? See, that's the parallel I was talking about. Mm. Considering the persistence of she displayed before this festival, I could easily believe it. Did I see Rin at her most Rin when she was painting the, more, the Muriel? The Muriel? <laughs> the Muriel in Eustace? <laughs> <laughs> the Muriel? The, the, murale, the murales? <laughs> the Rorbori murales? The graffiti? The relay is about to begin, but I don't see Emmy anywhere. I thought Emmy ran the relay. She runs Anchor. Anchor? So, so she's going to be uh, anchoring down the ship? Uh. So she wouldn't be running for a while yet. It's late, folks. Bear with me. Yes, bear with us. Ah. Did you see it? Huh? Emmy, at her Emmyest. Did you see her? her did you see this golden arrow around her uh, form when she was turning into Super Saiyan? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Maybe this time. The race begins, and I cheer Emmy's teammates along as they pass the baton. Yay! Completely unimportant people nobody cares about. And no one has any batons. And finally, yeah. I see Emmy. Okay, may maybe the batons is that girl's missing hand, and that was the and that and that was distasteful. Dis the the most distasteful joke of the evening. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you, you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I Thank you very much. And here I was gonna say the batons. Invisible in their hands, obviously. Oh, you mean like the invisible guns in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yes! That's even better, actually. Let's go with that and forget all about the missing hand joke. What, what hand joke? <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, I was just reading this. Finally, I see Emmy sprinting onto the track to take the final hand off. Oh, dear oh, Lord! No! 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> That's just awful, considering! <laughs> and off! We just made the most horrible joke ever, and you just... <laughs> you just punctuate with that... With that specific... Word! <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Better for the down here, they just probably didn't realize their mistake. Oh, man, I, oh, no, dear. no, but... I know, but the co I know, but it's a, such a staggering coincidence. <laughs> and no, it's just... Oh my god! <laughs> of why? Once again, oh. <laughs> please, no more handoff jokes, please. Oh, Once again, god. I'm taken aback by how graceful she looks when she runs. It really is beautiful. Careful, he's out. This, this is not Amy's route. The look of determination and fearlessness on her face only adds to the picture, which is literally what the scene is. Emmy at her Emmy. No, actually, you know, now that I look, now that, now that I look better, I'd say all, all those NPCs, uh, I'm just to call, going to call them NPCs for practical reasons, that are just behind Emmy, they, they, they are designed in a way that they actually oozing with personality. I mean, you can tell there is a, the... The goofy, classy green one, the one with the green hair. Yes, I see her right there. Now the now the one-handed girl, which is 
Okay, I, I, I don't know her name, so I'm going to very ignorantly just going to call her one and a girl because uh, because I'm ignorant. Uh, uh, she looks she looks uh, determined and passionate. You know, mm. that has that glare in her eyes that ooze with passion and determination. And and when we actually get to meet her in an Akos route and briefly know her, she's exactly that kind of tough, tough girl, tomboyish, a relatable kind of gal that you can be best friends with so easily. Mm. And then there is the other green-haired uh, girl yeah, which, right. Yeah. She's, which has that, which is sporting that weird smile, and she's. It, it seems to say like, "Well, oh, I'm just, I'm running, but do, 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 while what, while looking at, while my head is on the clouds." And we have something. the Higurashi girl right behind her. Yes. Now that I think about it, she looks exactly like that, that, that the girl from, Igura, from Igurashi. Yes. So anyway, let's uh, carry on. This is. This is I, I'm about to say that this is a nice attention to details. Also, speaking of details, uh, this picture seems like it's being realized by a completely different artist from the uh, compared to the last picture. Hmm, true. She's a bit, which is a bit distracting, if you ask me. Emmy flies across the finishing line with gr with a great leap, just barely ahead of the next runners, but still in first. <laughs> well, let's go down. Go the, go the. Gotta crown. Crown, got to crown the victor of the Royal Rumble, damn it! <laughs> of the King of the Ring. See if you can find a laurel branch. Alright, but the best I can probably do is a large branch at this rate. This is the large. That's not going to be easy. <laughs> Rin shrugs. Well, thank you for that. At least we... Uh, oh, oh, well, at least we tried. And there are more people. Emmy is surrounded by her teammates, all of them congratulating her on the run. Rin seems to be waiting for Emmy to notice that she's arrived. It I'm sorry, Deva, Deva, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Deva. I, I yeah. just cannot get that... I just cannot get that end off out of my head. No, the... like, I can't, I mean... And I, I, and, I, and I am truly, truly, seriously sorry for the joke that I made. Like, I'm seriously 100% sorry about it, but now that I read the next sentence, the end of there, that killed me. I mean, now I feel, now I feel completely overcome by, with guilt because of that. Just, it, it's almost as, as, as if the game inadvertently amplified my, my inappropriateness with that one word, and, and now I feel like I, buried beneath my own burden of, Shame. <laughs> well, we all get those times, man. Just as long as you're sorry and you uh, speak from the heart, that's fine so by I, me. I am sorry, but but knowing me, this seems like I'm kind of an aspie on my own term. I'm afraid I'm go I'm going to inevitably. I know that I'm going to inevitably make another stupid joke like that. <laughs> I I just hope I won't come across another handoff. You know, so to speak. <laughs> yes, we we can only just try our best to avoid those situations as best we can. In our silliness. Anyway. Okay, it doesn't seem her style to draw attention to herself, or to emote beyond shrugging. Yeah, I can't really imagine Rin being anything else but Rin, if you know what I mean. Yes, she is who she is, and that's and that is perfectly fine. Being more impatient than Rin, I wave to Emmy in her stead. She looks up and grins happily at us. Hey, Austin! I won! I won! We would have, we would have brought you a crown of Laura's, but he saw didn't find one. Oh, sure. Blame it to me. Neither did you. It wasn't my job to look. Oh, you sneaky... Okay, uh, how about this, Rin? You pretend to be the Laurel Branch. That sounds awfully impractical. <laughs> when did we assign jobs? When I said, see if you can find our Laurel Branch. Oh, she got us there. Try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I shrug. Guess Rin's rubbing off on me. 
Seems it's my fault after all, Emmy. Emmy laughs at Rin and me. There is nothing else to do at this point. It's okay. I'm sure you'll make it up to me somehow. <laughs> uh, sure. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I promise I'll get a laurel branch and a crown with diamonds. Good. So, how they look? Completely soaked in in your um um whatever you call the sweat when it dries off. Ah, uh, never mind. Musk. Very impressive. Emmy seems pleased with this assessment. I don't mention how much more impressive her performance is given her lack of legs. I think I figure she knows that already. Oh well, jeez, what gives you that impression? Okay, Isao, that was very inappropriate. Then again, coming from me, coming from me, I, I think I uh, exhausted all my rights to point out every time you do a faux de pas. So, well, I guess we'll call it a night. Besides, it seems like... It Good night, everybody! <laughs> Besides, it seems like it would take away from her efforts somehow. Great to hear. I was worried that uh, I looked a little slow on the relay, but I guess I did I did fine, huh? Emmy giggles and then seems to remember something. Oh, before I forget, Austin, you owe me money! <laughs> Rin and I are going to do something next Sunday as a as a po post track meet celebration. You should come along. And she yes. winks at us with that. Oh, yes, I uh, see. I see where she gets. Where I see she got it from her mother. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, Kamisao. If you come, good things will happen to you. Normally we do that the day after, but since today is Sunday, I've got homework and class and all that stuff to take care of, because school school is for chumps. Oh sure, I'd love to. Great, great. It's a promise then. Oh right, your mom wanted to say she's proud of you. She'll call you later tonight. I thought I saw her in the stands. I'm glad she made it. Hey Emmy, you're going to miss the medal ceremony. Thank you, random, uh, random nameless teammate. Oh yeah, thanks. She turns to Rin and myself. You don't have to, to stick around for that part. It takes forever. 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 Besides, besides, you should get cracking on your homework now if you don't want to be up late, Iso. Up late. Trish. And she's gone. Emmy skips back to her teammates, leaving me and Rin by ourselves. Neither of us have. Okay, to... honestly, this blurb of of uh, scrap paper people around. Around us, it's starting to creep me out. It is so <laughs> insistent. I know. It's like, notice us. Notice us. Yes. Notice you know, us. You no, know, that's exactly what we should be doing next time we see this bunch of crowds. We should, we should start. We should start. We should be start something like a. Uh, uh, souls like of the so damned and lost. Like so the souls of the damned lost in the Tartarus, or maybe the dead, the supposed dead ones in the Loom game, which we never actually get to meet. Yes, I but uh, that's for another. But, yes, that's for another entire Let's Play series that you'll be, you'll see about that, folks. Yes. You'll see. Neither of us have the slightest interest in the post celebrate post competition ceremonies. So we silently get away and back to the quad. <laughs> More of them. <sighs> Save us. Save, Save us. us. Become us. one of us. You'll be dragged to hell with us. This is uh, the pain, the suffering. <laughs> I am going crazy. Help <laughs> us. Help me. I must loom the flesh. I am just... I am you. I am destruction. Rin yawns without even trying to restrain herself and shuffles her feet around restlessly. I feel awkward, but less so than if I was with someone else. Still, I'm left hanging, not knowing what I should say next. 
Amy was, was great, wasn't she? She was great. I am very jealous of jealous of her. Why? Like I said, can't you think it's great to be able to really be yourself? Oh my. Rin, are you trying to tell me you're not feeling like yourself? Uh, I think that's the core of our conflict. The fact that she... Can She's a blank understand. canvas. No, no, no. The fact that the, she has trouble understanding and connecting with people because she cannot understand, she cannot even understand herself. That's kind of the core aspect of ah. the entire arc uh, and ca character's arc. And that's both beautiful and immensely tragic. It sounds weird coming from Rin. I don't think you, of all people, should have trouble finding a way to express yourself. Don't you have any of your paintings? She turns to look at me for the first time. I see in her eyes a strange, hollow expression that I think must be unique to her. No, you see, the problem is that I'm not really sure who I am. I am all I am all I am. Actually, for once I was going to be serious. Oh, sorry. I, was just, I, but, I, I couldn't help but sing but, a song. But it's okay. I do the I do this every time. Uh, I do I constantly do, do Shadow the Hedgehog references every time. Oh wait, I, I, I should I should have done something more uh, related to me, as in going, Watcha na yao, Watcha na yao, which is a Jackie Chan, which is from a Jackie Chan movie. Uh, I think that, it was called Who Am I. Oh. Oh, that one. Yes, I know that one. Yeah. Anyway, serious mode. Oh, 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 oh my. Seriously? You mean to tell me you interrupted the dialogue in in the middle of the most in interesting part? Uh, just like that? And how is... I just so know. Oh, oh. That, that's just, that just saddens me. Yes. Oh, well, oh, well I think this is a good... But, uh, moment to stop, actually. Yes, it probably is a good moment to stop, actually, considering the time and it's been an hour. Ugh. Well, thank you for joining us, everybody. This has been Mad Dog Day Master, the cracker of awful jokes. And I have been Devark Run, the, uh, the limiter of my own jokes. See you next time. Take care, folks, and see you next time. No chance of that's what you got. And people, and people, 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 you need, need to play, play Loom. Loom, Loom yes. is a forgotten, Loom, Loom, Loom is a forgotten gem. gem. Go, Go play that the, the, the mother pirate game. game. I would. I would I, 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 in, I, fact, I, I, in fact, you know what? I am declaring I, I, this right now. We're, We're going, going to play, play that game in the future. future. I would actually I would about to say that. Actually, we should play that now because that's actually a very. Underrated classic in my view as well. In, in art direction, anyway. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go play it right now!